Hello YouTubers and YouTubeettes, this is Legendary Mac Productions. Today I'm showing you the new server. Actually, same world, new spawn. So here we go. Okay, as you see, that's the exit. But well, let's check out the whole inside before we get to the outside. Here we go. Let's start. Oh, let's just read the signs going this way. Welcome to Cyberspace Online Gaming. Webs.com. We do host a TeamSpeak 3 server at csog.zap2.org. Be down in the description below. Rules in, rules in the right corner, over there. Warps in the left corner, over there. So let's go over here and check out the rules. Websites. First, rules. No griefing, no grieving, no stealing, if not in faction. I guess if you're not in a faction, you are not to be stealing. Well, I guess I could get for all of them. If you're not in a faction, you're not to be griefing, grieving, or stealing. Because if you're in a faction, that means you it's uh, you guys are fighting to be one. Basically, no spam, spam, just, just to get the message. So if any of you are spamming more than what's on that sign, I will kick you. If you do it again on your return, I will ban you for an hour. And so forth. No drama, no whining, do not ask for rank. I do not want that, and a lot of servers don't, and I understand why, because it does get annoying. If we need staff, it will be posted in the forms, or you can donate for about any rank that you want. Do not ask for items. The server is to restart and you don't have time to pick it all up. Try to take a snapshot for proof and we will give it back. Need more info? Go to website. Again, cyberspaceonlinegaming.webs.com. Well, two. Cyberspace Gaming. Two. Oh, you can get to it through the first link, too. But anyhow, I'll put both links in there, yeah. along with the TeamSpeak and Minecraft IP, which is exactly the same. Okay, but uh, what this is meaning right here, like say you break a block, like a diamond block, and the server restarted before you can pick it up. All you have to do is say, tell an admin or something will come to you, and uh, or well, we'll ask you to put the screenshot up on the form or something to prove it. And then we will give you your diamond blo block back. That's if you had time to get it. That's why we've had a few people say they record every time they play. But as you see, it's about midnight here, so there's no one online. Need more info? Go back to the website. Okay, start back here in the middle. Okay, warps over there. Well, let's go over to the warps. There are no warps yet, but as if you type in slash warps. You'll see words, but all this need to be removed because of they're stupid and they don't work right. Okay, let's go back here to the middle. Let's go straight behind us. Actually, if you look here, it says band players to the left, words to the right. Words again, band players. Woohoo, no band players yet. Party! New server, new rules, everything else is different. Welcome again to the left corner, the rules, small jobs, right corners. If you want a job, all you gotta do is tell me, or leave me mail with something, and give you one of these books right here. Each one has different descriptions. This one tells you what you can get for doing being a farmer. And of course, this one will tell you for timber, hunter, guard, and of course, builder. Please, if you, but if you do take one, and you don't want to keep the book, please put it back, because it's a, it is a pain to keep it as filled. With the same book. We'll just take one if you want to keep it so you can remember. But if you put it back there, you can always go back to it later. Now a lot of you wonder why these are here. Right. Now see, with the iron block, you can fix tools. Now if you have iron inventory. This, you can enchant your items. And here is for PVPers. With your starter items, all you gotta do is go in here, throw your stuff in here. And if you get the time, well, you teleport back here, pick up your stuff, teleport back to your house, and you're good to go. A lot of people don't know why they do that. And right here we go. Host. Me. Look like Adolf Hitler. But. I have a crown. What the? Okay. Well, I have a but. Owner. Luso. You guys are probably confused. Host and owner. I'm the person that hosts 
this server and he takes charge of everything and cow owner we have two of those this is the first one right here Neggy. she's in team speak at the moment but she is in a different channel so am i because i wanted to record zach morrison he's already in bed so i hope you're sleeping good and again me but again like i was saying host meaning i'm running the servers he's taking charge but what I say can go above all their orders. But before I do anything, I try to confront them about it. To make sure it's alright by them too. Because I'm putting all the work onto them. So but if there's something I don't like, I remove it. But if they build it, I won't touch it. If another player moves it, like in my spawn, I will remove it. Okay. Oh, you guys got a sneak peek there. I don't like that. But yeah. As you see, rules corner, left. See over there, that they're in the sign. But yeah, it's just the same thing on both sides. CSOG. Yeah. These are our colors. We have four, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, four. Red, black, green, and blue. Okay, I know you guys are probably wondering already, what the heck is this thing? No, if it's not what you're thinking, it's not a large penis. It is a hotel. You walk in, oh, come for sweets. Sweet. Check in, check out. Same thing over here. Check in, check out. Now if you get down here, this is your breakfast dining room place. Eating. Now let's go back up here. Just some simple lamps for lighting. And again, one of these. Just for measurements. We'll start at the top, shall we? Do -de -do 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 -de -do. Yes, I know it's a long ways up, but hey. This is what we will call the couple suite. Let me get me a lever here. This is what you'll use as your key. You get two beds, two chests, two large chests, two two crafting tables. Two of those, I don't know why you need two, but I just think it's better to have two of everything. So you have two beds. And as you see here, you get your little uh, balcony. Okay, that's that room. This one's just a little bit different. As you can see. Just things are set up a little differently. Now here's a trick for all of you. For those who watch this video. You have to, if you want these diamonds, you have to jump from there to there. If you survive the jump, you can break the diamonds. Or I'll respawn these diamonds and just give them to you so you don't have to pick them off the ground. Wee. You should be dead. Okay, see, that is a long fall. But if you land here, all you do is tell me and prove that you landed there, and I will give you the items. Give you the diamonds. Let me see, there is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve diamonds, diamond blocks. And just to be generous. There we go. That makes it a little more interesting. Now, don't it? And two iron blocks. Okay, let's go back up here because I gotta shut that door. And I'll show you the next floor down. I'm not gonna show you every floor, just three floors are different. There's only three types of floors. Oh, wrong way. Yes, in order to go straight back down the lobby, just jump here and fall. Okay, these rooms look exactly alike, so I'll just show you one of them. These are the couple suites, the cheaper ones. You get one furnace, one craft table, and one large chest, and just one of those with two beds. Okay. Guess it don't matter where I land here. 
this one's just a little bit bigger, but it's your one of your regular single beds yourself. Um, I want to show you a smaller one. No, they get smaller than that. I know it does. I think this might be the smallest one, I don't know. The price I don't know which one's smaller. Not that one. Yeah, it's this one right here. This is the smallest one you can get for single. No, I'll have the prices in order to see them, but right now I just see them as being decoration, so. Looks cool. But yeah, basically what I'm having thinking is the very top one would cost you... Well, I'll let you the first night if, if it's actually two people. Boyfriend, I'll say this. Boyfriend and girlfriend, yes. The first night, well, first Minecraft day and night, they can have that for free. Second night, or either costing 20... No, I'll do 32 coal. At least one iron along with that. Or 16 iron in every total. Or one diamond. Any other room? Well, the smaller suite. 10 coal. And. Nah, just 10 coal. The other rooms will cost you single. Since you're by yourself, one iron. And f or five coal. Okay, so basically, I should go up here because I can get a professor. I think. But yeah, basically, you get one of these rooms, one iron or five coal. Okay, you know what? Say. If you give me one emerald, and you're either by yourself or with a couple, you can have a total of 20 day, day and nights on Minecraft as well. Every time you're on Minecraft, it only counts when you're on Minecraft, though. If you're not on, I'm not going to count it against you. If only one of you is on, I'll only count it against one of them. Well, I'll count it half. Like each night and each day will be half. Let's say they stay one night one day. That'll count as half. If it's making sense. Say they stated two nights, or two days and two nights, that'll count as one. Just so it'll either slow them down or have to catch up. But if you want to go out there and survive a night, go tell the front desk you're checking out. We'll put your name in a chest I need to put in there in the middle. And we'll get from there. So we know how many nights you have so far. In each key. And you'll have to give it well, you'll keep you'll be able to keep your key. I'll do you that, but if you lose your key, it'll cost you two coal to receive a new one. That way you can make your own. But we'll keep a track of who stays in it where. But yes. Do 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 do. Balconies, antenna. Here's that balcony. I don't think I should. I don't remember if I showed you, but yeah, this is this balcony. I couldn't go off this edge because of say soon wilderness. You guys could break it. I mean, yeah, you guys can break that too. But if you just land on it, I'll still give you everything that's there. Oops. Everything that's there. So if you break it. I'm not putting another one back up. Then you can have fun picking that up. Okay, let's go over here and check out my newest build. I like to call it the prison. Yes, I know that middle piece is pretty tall. But in a way, I still like it. Let's fly down here, shall we? Okay, let's go in here. Each gel is exactly the same. One bit. Well, except these ones. This one has two, all the way up through. That side, this one has three, all the way up this side. 
far away from the sun. I mean, three, two. And how this will work. I got my Karen's head, for example. Say if she's one line, I would fly up myself, open up her door. She'd get on the ladder. I'd watch to make sure she didn't get inside one of those doors. She'd come down here and line up in front of her head. If she did not do so, I would then slay her, then teleport her to me. And what would happen then? Normally, I'd give them three stakes for it so they wouldn't starve to death. But instead, she'd get two. No, I'd make it one and a bread piece of bread. Like I said, I can go all the way down this line with different people. As I can see, but if you're not online, I won't count it against you. Because, for one, you wouldn't be online. Hmm. Sorry about that one. It's one o'clock here, so yeah. Oh, no, bad, bad, bad. Hmm. Awkward. But anyhow. That's how that basically works. And there is a prisoner group, so yeah. But if anyone that watches these channel these videos, if you think the server should go into all uh, guard and prisoners server, please let me know in the comments below. And for everyone that says yes to that, says it should, I will personally give you each a special weapon if it does become that. Of your choice, basically, is what I'll say. Technically, won't be of your choice you know, of what I can make. Okay, let's fly over here. No, wait, there's a sign for it. Zombie day. And floating tower, get team of five. I recommend a team of five. It would be the only way you're going to beat this. But if you want to get lower, like two or by yourself, you're going to have a tough time. Because it's this is called zombie day here is what I call it. Huh, look. Stupid zombie. User joined your hey, Matt, Matt. Um, and uh, this is basically zombie day for what this is, is um, I'll be up in the corner where wherever you guys are standing. I'll get real close to you so the zombies can see you or follow you whatsoever. And um, I'll spawn in a certain amount of zombies that round. What you'll start off in with is a wooden sword. I know you all hate that. With the unbreaking of one. I will put them in this chest. I'll come in right there. Put them in this chest right here. And you'll come to this door at the end of each wave. And at the end of each wave, what you'll do, well, begin of each wave, you'll have to, I will ask you to please leave this building. Because this is mainly the main building, so that door's just there for a little extra protection. Well, no, nah, the iron door closes, so you'll find everyone. You all can come in here. Screw it. And what will basically happen is you'll get your stuff, come back out, or whatever. Like first round, there's 15 rounds total. First round, 10, like 10 zombies. Second round, 20. Third. Third round, I'll do straight 35. Each round will be a little more each. Well, it depends how lazy I am. Sometimes I'll just do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, clear to 1,500, basically. Or better, 15th round. If there's five of you still alive, it will be a challenge for you. You'll be fighting against, I'll say, 3,000 zombies. In all reality, that is fairly easy because they'd all be scattered out then. But you probably think, but if you win through the final round, you get a whole large chest. Of any material that you want. 
and note to self, I will do this now. We were thinking, oh god, he's gonna blow it up, he's gonna blow it up. We were thinking, all oh, this down going to affect without to hurt the player. You're wrong. It not only hurts, it doesn't only hurts you, it hurts the ground, but it repairs. So therefore, the TNT would be used. I might give you each one piece of TNT each, and if you use it wisely, you could easily win the matches. And yes, I could. I will give you one large chest of uh, TNT, but only of one item each player. So think about that: five players, and if you're in a faction, you all split that item. Split your ch each other's items. One could have diamonds. So you'll be the most popular faction. Well, most richest faction, but therefore, you'd be the best faction you'll have. Um, my voice is probably dying down now. So I'm probably getting ready to end this video. I'm where did I put that whole app? But yes, but if one of you die, you guys can either stay up here and watch the fight go on. See how far they make it, or you can just leave by going to spawn. And right there, so if you teleport to spawn and do slash back, I would do tell. And I would then literally kill you. So you'll have a different spawn, and I'll teleport you to two different spots. So forth, you will not have that slash back there. So if you even think about it, but if so, when you first join the server, after I see you walk through these doors right here and walk out past this, I will then give you your builder. But also, once you walk past this red line here, you are up for PvP grabs, monsters, and everything else. But yes, this is uh, the Legendary Max Productions. This is his hotel, his spawn, his prison, and his zombie day. And of course, his beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sign. I hope you have all have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.